Well, what up my dudes, I'm going to do on today with the channel with the Louis Vlogs, welcome, welcome, and welcome, hope you guys can see me from that angle, but it's going to be a real quick intro. It's time to get rid of this old deck. Even though this is aftermarket, not stock, we're just going to upgrade to what upgrade, so we're going to get the full touchscreen that I found that I ordered that I thought it was reasonable for this car. We're going to get rid of this cubby, even though this cubby does come in handy, that's why I put my phone in, but I need, I need to upgrade because I use this, the aux cable, with... The charger, I still have a mask here for a long time, with the iPod. So yes, I still do everything with the aux cable connected here and I use the iPod if you guys remember how this works and the music comes on. That is a bummer because this aux cable does not work anymore. On a good day, I get that speaker playing as well as this speaker. So this is a big no-no. So I'm going to upgrade this stereo and also I'm going to upgrade the speakers. Um, the only downside is that I couldn't find any tweezers. Um, what do you call it? Tweezers? Not tweezers. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I couldn't find any of these that I like. So we're not going to replace that. What we're going to replace is the big speaker here. Even though this is the Bose system, it's old. This is a 1999. It needs an upgrade. So we're going to upgrade this. And also we're going to upgrade the speakers. Let me show you guys what I got over here. The upgrade of the upgrade, I got the Sony XAV. AX150. I found this, my dude, believe it or not, at Walmart. I was looking online, I went to Best Buy, I went to Audio Express, and this one's the one that I found that I like. It's Apple CarPlay, it's Android Auto, and then right here, I like how they did this now. Amazon, so you just pull that tab, you can save the bag. Smart thing. And here, for the speaker setup, we're going to go with some Kickers. Kickers is a good brand, Kickers is known, and I'm going with Kickers. Uh, this is what I'm getting, 250W Max, um, 25, and this is a 6x8, it should fit according to the internet, can't trust that, but Miata page says that these should fit for the two side speakers that we're going to put in, no tweeters like I said, this will be down in the link below, I found this in Amazon, this was at Walmart, so I, I don't know, I can't put a link down because I didn't, I got it actually there, so Walmart, Amazon. Now let's do the swap. So the first thing we gotta do is take off the door panels on this one, take off the door panels on this one to get the speaker swap. Then will be the hard part, taking out the radio and putting the new touchscreen radio on it. I hope this radio fits. This is gonna look so good on this little car. After going to the store and coming back, it's a disaster on this door panel. These, like you guys can tell from trying to take this off and stuff, this isn't the original pins that for the car was, so that's why it was so stressful to take them off because these even the right pins, like not at all. And then if I go to the passenger side, well, obviously the passenger side is the right one because everything supposed to be is this push button clip. So that pops out, that comes out easily. Um, just on that side of the door is a disaster. So we got the door out. Um, you guys can see that's the speaker right there. We gotta take that off. But right now I'm trying to take off this door panel. And then we'll jump onto the radio. Glad the previous owner never touched this door panel because this was the freshly made with, it has the glue, it has the plastic over it. So this is done professionally. I left it like that so I won't put that much strain on the wire. Now let's go pop off those kickers. And I hope that they fit. They better fit because it's getting frustrated, you know? Like, that's how it is. Every time we do something, you got to make sure you get frustrated and you have to go to AutoZone because you don't have the right tool. And it's a big disaster. So, let me pop this open. Now, they gave us this and I actually went to go buy some. <laughs> uh, here's the wire. And let me get this table out so I can pop it over here. You guys can see better. Oh, yeah, baby. So, I got some kickers. Some more wires over there. This wire goes over there. These are nice. These are gonna bump. I hope these can fit. Oh, that's magnet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna look dope. All right, so we're not gonna be looking at them because obviously it has a cover. But let's take off the old one, unplug it, and then plug in this new one. And they give us hardware as well so we can figure out how these go. So let's start taking off the old speakers. So these are old. 1999, the both speakers, they're a box my dudes I don't, I don't know but i guess back in the day these really bumped but not today my dudes compared to today's speakers nice and thin so the whole box looks like here i gotta do some modifications to it i'm not sure yet i'll figure that out for the speaker there's a tiny one and a big one obviously the big one goes with the big one small one's a small one push it all the way in and then you just kind of make it tight with some 
pliers like a little tight they can barely focus so now we gotta figure out which wire is which so I'm on the passenger side so I'll put this right here we're gonna turn on the car and we gotta figure out which one is positive which is negative or which one actually makes the car um, speaker go so don't mind the music it's gonna be radio music um, I don't get good stations either because I don't have an antenna so bear with me this is the whole point why I want to do the swap I right, have a good song on so so we got two wires here so you guys see we got a black and gray and a solid gray so we're gonna put them inside here and figure out which one is which damn I need two hands but we'll figure it out because we're gonna cut these wires regardless but I gotta know which one is which and put this right here there it goes we got some then we flip them they shouldn't work because the positive and negative and they and somehow these guys work Wow, so they both work regardless what side we flip it to. That's that's trippy. That's kind of weird that they both work no matter what side we flip it to. But obviously we're going to cut these off. And then we're going to splice them. Then we're going to put them together, fuse them. Then we're going to use this. They can stay on. Put it back on. And that's it. That's how you do the speakers. I don't know why it's supposed to be negative with positive. But either way, if I flip it, it still works so I guess it works. Huh. I might do that. I gotta talk fast if I get copyrighted. So I already did the other one. It's already installed. Door panel's back on. This one, we decided to go vertical, not horizontal, just the fact that it didn't fit. So, and vertical, it did. So we're gonna do top to bottom, bottom to top, instead of left to right, left, right to left. So we're gonna do it like that. This is what I meant, up and down, vertical, just like that, my dudes. That's how we're gonna put it on. Um, it fits, it works, uh, I'm gonna do it, put the door back in, jump on the radio to show you guys how we did it, just like that. Onto the touchscreen radio by Sony, not sponsored by anyone whatsoever. Everything that I buy is for myself. Control, nice. Never gonna use that, probably. Ooh. And this is the radio that everyone's been watching and I've been waiting to open this up since I got it. Damn, that looks so good. Uh, more wires. I hate wires, my dudes. I'm that type of guy that hates electrical wires. Hate them, hate them, hate them. Okay, so now we gotta figure out how to pop out this radio out so we can jump in and put the new one on. Special to open up the radio, which I didn't use. All I used was screwdrivers, one from each side, and the radio popped out. Um, it is a double deck like I said um, it's a huge space so I'm hoping that the Sony actually does fit right there perfectly all these wires is something that I hate it's a nightmare for me I'm not good with wires so I'm gonna see what wires they came with and what wires I need to put on this one was plugged in right here but I unplugged it because it was not making me bring out the whole radio system I don't want to touch it yes so I mess around with it yet there's so many wires up to here. It looks very confusing. Let me go see what the Sony has. And then I'll figure out what's going on. I'll probably have to build the radio out here and then put it inside. I'm not sure. But it's time for me to take out all these wires and figure out where, what, are, what are all these doing here. So I got that there. This is everything that we have. Let me figure it out and i get back to you, my dudes. Radio's out. Um, we took... The main power source, everything's out. This is the old radio right here. Even took off the protection of the radio. Then I got my boy Jesse over here. If you don't know, call Cholo. He'll get it done. Uh, and then right now we're just splicing each wire off from the harness from the original radio that was in there. And then we're going to connect all those into those. Plug it back in. It's easier if you work outside than inside the car. That's what Jesse says. So we're going to do that. Cause you have this little quick release on your on the inside for we'll use this for your ground wire so so far all we did was splice each wire and we cut new wires to be re-spliced from the old harness and the new one that's the new one that's the old one that's all we did so far so just so now we got to connect what's able to be connect and there's two ways you can do it just like that electrical tape or where's the little things i bought or these you can use these as well for it to hold the connection uh, Jesse recommends these are better because 
uh, over time the juco tape gets all sticky they come off it looks more ugly over time these is for sure that it will stick and it'll stay on it'll work no matter what you guys do the juco tape or you guys want to buy these plastic tubes that connect the wires together so that's all we're doing right now that's all we did so far was we'll splice and connect from the old harness to the new harness to the wires that we're going to use more or less yeah nothing's going to ground out because we haven't used we haven't spliced any of the pop wires coming out from the stereo that power is actually coming out of so okay. these are all these other speaker wires are dead wires until you connect power to them so we're just doing it just to test it out we te we connected the positive the remote wire and the, the ground wire and we're just going to see if it turns on Okay, sounds before good. Before we wire the rest. So there's the ground wire. And let's move it closer. Keys. Keys. And then now this should turn on. Oh, it's backwards, it but. Sony, look at that. That's what we wanted, right? To make sure it's yep. on. That's All right. It. So now we got so now we'll first wiring. my first wiring, which is the speakers, the sounds, and all that fun stuff. Jesse said, but now we know that it works as power. All right. The wire was uh, like the parking brake wire. The parking brake wire wasn't connected. Supposedly we need it. It's important. So now we're gonna use the same face that we use for the off radio, which is the cubbies right here in the bottom. That hopefully no one knows and i'm also going to be showing that metal right there because i don't have the plastic cover over it which is fine it's better than nothing as i get this radio working so now we're doing the last minute touch-ups of touching all the wires together then we get to plug it in then you guys can get to see the big screen then i gotta put the time the date and all that fun stuff all right, there it goes the radio like i said the thing's gonna show but it's all good i'll fix it later uh language english demo on i need a demo demo off what's the day the 10th before it changes before it changes right there pm okay okay for safety not to run over the regulation we just want traffic laws close boom put the turner radio Wait, do we connect it? Oh, did you connect it? <laughs> I think so. No, we didn't. There's no sound coming out. Just you didn't connect the antenna. Really? Um, it is a pain that has political consequences. As voters ah, damn, that's voters loud. The economy. Yeah, so I got no, I got no my Mexican stations, bro. Let's see. Shut it off, okay? Redo it. It's the next day, my dudes. Um, sunlight was going out, and also. My friend was here, Jesse, my co-worker, so I didn't want to end the vlog, spend time with him. We went out to go eat. Anyways, this is it, my dudes. This is, let me get this out of the way, put it in reverse. This is the radio that we got. Um, you guys can see that the cubby is right under it, so I need to buy a new radio lock for it. Also, if I can find the plastic trim that goes around it. Um, it does pop out like huge, it's like a huge gap you guys can see due to the fact that the cubby's here so it's not flush. So once I fix that up, it's going to be good. Radio works phenomenal. This actually does make the car look more, I said it, more, not expensive, but more like up there in technology wise. So it's a Sony, like I said, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. That's only one, that's pretty loud. Uh, I have no stations, so I was just seeking. It's connected to my phone, like I said, everything like that. I changed the background already, and from the previous video, you guys heard that beep, beep, beep noise. I changed it as well, but look, there's no seeking. I have no antenna, so probably that's why. I probably have to do little by little, I guess, just like that until I find a station. But besides that, touchscreen is responsive. See, there it goes. Don't have enough sinking power. So I guess I gotta get some stations and just like that, hold it. And I guess it locked in. But stuff like that, it looks good. This is the home 
go to the bottom you have your settings to it where you change that beeping noise the time right there it looks good i have this right here um this was also made by a previous owner it was when they had a system where you control the base right here so jesse just decided to leave this here it's a usb so whenever i want usb i can just connect it that would be for like i don't know what Charging phones, I guess, or something like that. But I have a USB right there. I might get a jump drive and just plug it in there so I can have music. Just like that. But besides that, my dude, this is the whole system. You can't see me. Just get a car. All right, my dudes. Um, I was going to end the vlog, but there's some point information that I have to tell you guys before we even continue. So, if you guys know that my radio... Let me move this out of the way to reverse. If you guys know that my radio is not compatible. Um, it comes out easily because I don't have the right cubby for it. Oh, don't tell me I gotta pull everything out um, just to get the cubby in. But I ordered this from Amazon. Link will be down in the description below. And this also has the connector for the radio. I did not know that my, since my car already had the aftermarket radio, it had the connector for it to be easier to swap out. That's on the same purchase of this. You guys just buy this um, and it'll come with the kit, which I didn't want it. I just wanted the plastic frame for it which is this oh man don't tell me it's just a cubby you already have that one hold on let me open this up really quick instructions how to do it so they gave you this this is what i have on the car right now is this cubby but i don't want this one i guess i gave you two of them i want this one this is the full screen for the full screen radio um the instruction says how to cut this middle bracket in the middle and that should hold the radio in place. So that's the whole point. I just want to show you guys that I didn't purchase this. I should have purchased this earlier. I thought that buying the stereo will come with all this, the plastic trim, which it did not. I had to order that separately and all separate it. And also that connection for the wire that I have from aftermarket. Once you guys click on the link, you guys will see that it has um it has a kit or it has the radio tools and the kit, and it has the radio connection and this it all comes together but this link is very important so i'm gonna fix this make this flush and take away this cubby which is what i have right now is this right there so that's why it's pushing so far away i just want to share you guys that and then it'll look way better than it is right now but i do recommend i actually does like it i actually do like this radio and that's all my dudes just want to fit that in really quick hey.